Greetings. For those of you who might not completely understand what an Esquire is, an Esquire is somebody who has British nobility. Now what that means is when the attorney takes the bar license he obtains a British nobility because the courts are under British rule which unbeknownst to the Commonwealth us we were never told that yeah big surprise right what do you mean the court system is still under the crown Britain so that is always why you get screwed over by your attorneys because what they're not telling you is that they work for the crown that they are loyal to the queen that is what that title Esquire ESQ is behind your attorney at law name title so anytime that they want to use that Esquire title they are basically admitting that they will work in the best interest of the courts the best interest of the crown because of the British nobility that's the only way you get British nobility you take oath you make a pledge to the queen. Now keep in mind, you can't serve two masters. You can only serve one. So if the courts are under British rule and the attorney is British nobility, that means they are one of the same. But they're supposed to be representing you in their best interest. So this is where fraud upon the court comes into play. And this is where fraud comes into play all over the place because under Fair Business Practicing Acts that are standard laws, when you retain an attorney, you are under the impression that they are fighting for your rights and your best interests when in all actuality they are in the best interest of the court, the queen, the crown. That is why there is Esquire. And if you think I'm joking on this, start questioning attorneys. If you have an attorney that's retained, ask them about their British nobility. You will start to see them panicking, and they will try to misguide you. And that is the fraud. When they start to lie to you to try to dumb you down and say, well, it's not what you think. Because if you notice, you try to point out that, wait a minute, I'm bound by a constitution what about that? And they say, well, that doesn't matter anymore. It's such an old law. It's because they're working out the best interests for the crown so that you don't bill them for violating your constitutional rights. That if you are a sovereign citizen, now keep in mind, sovereign citizen, I mean, United States citizen, you're still protected under the Constitution. But sovereign citizen takes you to the organic of 1776, not 1871. There's a big difference there. But if they want to go corporate, we'll go corporate. That is why you will find that you have documents, see? At least in the state of Ohio, here for Beaver Dam, I want to show you how your public servants, you put them in check. You see this right here? Sheriff bond, furtherance of justice. Now, if you'll notice, there's a cash bond right there. See that? Oh yeah, $70,000. See, so your local sheriff is required to carry an insurance bond to make sure that they carry the proper justice. So if they're out there violating your rights, well, you have the right to collect an insurance bond on your local sheriff. Now, once you've collected that local bond, once you've made a claim for that bond, that sheriff can no longer become bonded anywhere else because no one's going to carry him. He becomes a risk, a credit. Nobody wants to carry us. And if a cop keeps walking around violating people's rights and they got to pay $70,000 every time they do that, how many times do you think that cop's going to be covered? Now, that's also good for your district attorney. So if your district attorney does not file charges against a criminal who violated law, you can pick up bonds. Let me see here. Oh, look at this right here just to see. Further approval of prosecutor. Further benefit, right? Oh. And look at this bond. This bond, whoa, $115,000. So if the prosecutor fails his oath, which, let's take a look at an oath to see what an oath might look like. Because we're curious on what an oath might look like. Well, let's see here. Notice, judicial oath, right? Okay, and notice, if, if you'll pay attention, it says, I, Bradley J. Smith, do solemnly swear 
that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution of the State of Ohio. Now notice the first one mentioned in this oath, this very important oath. This defines everything in America, this oath does. He mentions that first he will honor, first takes precedence, the United States Constitution of America. Not the United Constitution of Ohio. No. No, there's, it's just the Constitution of the State of Ohio, but that is underneath. See, first, this one has to apply. Then you can take this one. Because you're not allowed to deprive me of any rights. Okay? You can add to the original Constitution as long as you are adding more freedom. You can't take away, you can't just, you can't just strip me of something. You're out your fucking rabbit ass mind. So, ladies and gentlemen of the free world, well, at least of this free nation, I'm not going to say free world because you've got the United Nations, you've got the European Union, Russia, China, you're not free. But ladies and gentlemen of the free nation, the most freest nation on this planet, supposed to be the United States of America. We need to start holding our public officials accountable to do their duties and the jobs that they're supposed to do, which is to honor the United States Constitution, her freedoms, her liberties. In the pursuit of happiness, mind you, in the pursuit of happiness, but do not infringe upon the rights of any other individual. That means you don't get the right to infringe upon the happiness of another individual. Now, of course, that's got to be done in good character and good taste. We all understand what righteousness is. Okay? I understand there's some that don't, and that's why we have the criminal justice system. And that's why public servants should be held accountable. So that they can go after the criminals that need to be prosecuted. Fair, balanced, equal. Not pick and choose, corruption, and everything else that you've got going on, Tom Sternwall. But anyways, I just want at least people that live in the state of Ohio to understand that it is absolutely possible to hold your public officials accountable. Um, hopefully uh, I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow.